Hey folks, this is Brendan back again with another video for you. This one's gonna be on an advanced keyword research strategy. And I know as many of you are well aware, I've done keyword research before, but I've never shown anything like this. It's incredibly powerful and it's ridiculously simple. So this advanced keyword research method makes use of two tools, but don't worry, both of these tools are completely free and incredibly easy to use. The first free tool that we're gonna use is Google Keyword Planner. And pretty much every keyword research strategy that you're gonna find is gonna use this tool. The second tool is a website called ubersuggest.org. This website is specifically designed to enable you to find long tail keywords for your niche. So to start off with, we're gonna go into our Google Keyword Planner and you're gonna see how ridiculously easy this is to do. Uh, now, most of the time when you start up Google Keyword Planner, most people go to the first option in the Keyword Planner, which is the search for new keywords and ad group ideas. But in this strategy, different than most strategies, we're actually gonna use a different option. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select option number two, which is to get search volume for a list of keywords that you've already gathered. So as I've said before, instead of option number two, we're gonna go down to the second option in the Google Keyword Planner tool. Click on that, it's gonna give us a box to enter our keywords. Now, where's our list of keywords? Well, that's what we're gonna use the second powerful tool for, and that's Ubersuggest. So if you Google search Ubersuggest, you'll get to this website here, and let's say in this video, I'm gonna use ultrasound as the example niche that we're gonna use. So I would go to ultrasound, and then I would type in the CAPTCHA code here. Luckily for me, um, Ubersuggest actually makes CAPTCHAs that are really easy to break. I usually have a challenging time at this section of creating the videos, but because this is pretty easy, should be a piece of cake to enter in here. Now, this is the part of the strategy where you're really going to unleash the power uh, behind what we're gonna do, but it's really easy to do. Uh, Ubersuggest will list all the ultrasound keywords for you, but they'll give you this plus box here, which means that all of these can be expanded. So if you go to say ultrasound tech, for example, and you click the plus button, it will drop down another list of further like sub um, keywords that are longer tail than that. And then you still have plus options underneath there as well. What I want you to do is go through this list and make a drop down for as many of these as you want, but definitely ones where you feel like you could uh, be wanting to look into further, you feel like there might be some juicy long tail keywords. So you just go through here, you click all these, you open up as many as you want to, as many as you can, and I highly recommend that you open as many as possible because that's where the, the cool part of this strategy is gonna come underway, and but it's not really too time consuming. Honestly, you can complete this task in a matter of three or four minutes if you wanna open up a good portion of them. Uh, because I'm doing this video, I probably won't do that many. If I wasn't doing the video, I'd probably open up damn near all of them, because why not? So uh, we just go through here. We pick all the ones that we want. Uh, so I've got some more ones here that I'm going to open up. Ultrasound knee injection, ultrasound nurse, uh, ultrasound news, um, thyroid, heart, kidney, uterus, ultrasound pictures. Okay, so let's say I've got a good amount here and I'm satisfied with the amount of expanded keywords that I have. Now I just wanna go up to the top and copy. Copy all these keywords. So you just highlight all of them and drag and drop all the way to the bottom of your list. And once I get to the bottom, I copy those. I head into the Google Planner again, paste them in. And as you can see, the Google Planner already takes out the plus image symbol and just leaves you with the keywords. And there should be a ton of really cool long tail keywords in here, but the problem is we don't know how much searches each of these keywords gets, but that's what the, the Google Planner is there for us to do in this strategy. It's gonna tell us 
how many searches each of these keywords gets. So now we go to get search volume. After I click that button, it's gonna take the planner a little bit of time. And now I have all my keywords in here um, with all the search volumes. So not all of these are gonna be long tail, but if I click the download option here, it's gonna provide me an Excel spreadsheet uh, with the list of long tail keywords. So there's 604 of them. And just give me one second to get this all set up. Now all you need to do is find that download file of the keywords that you had in the planner. And for Mac users, it's under the downloads category in your finder. Uh, once you find that file, open it up with your version of Excel, whatever you have. And I've done videos on this before where I've shown how you can really easily manipulate Excel to find juicy keywords once you have a good list here. So in my Excel sheet, I'm not gonna go over it in detail because I've created other videos for this before. And in fact, I'll leave a link for you right now that takes you to my other keyword research video that I have that's called Keyword Research on Steroids. It's also incredibly highly recommended. That video has a strategy that's a little bit more complicated, but will enable you to have a lot larger of a list. This strategy is beneficial because it allows you to very easily in a very short period of time, get some long tail keywords that uh, with the information of how many searches they get per month. Like I said, I'm not gonna go over how you can completely manipulate Excel spreadsheets to your maximum advantage, but I will go over quickly how to read these Excel spreadsheets. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna expand this keyword um, column here because it's not big enough to see how what the keywords are. So you wanna widen that so you can take a full look at each keyword. And then you wanna look at these three columns in particular. You wanna look at the keyword name itself. You wanna look at the average monthly searches and you wanna look at the suggested bid. Now the suggested bid is has to do with advertising, Google AdSense. Uh, the reason why this is important is because if advertisers are willing to spend a good amount of money, then it means that there is money being made off of those keywords. So it's really important that you do pick keywords that have commercial value where you actually can make money from them because for most of us, that is the task or the goal of creating these websites is to make money. So we want to get a good amount of searches per month and we want those searches to have commercial intent. So that's why these three columns, the keyword itself, the average monthly searches, and the suggested bid are the most important. Uh, now the next thing I wanna say, uh, the one thing you can manipulate that's really easy to do is you can set a filter. Uh, so depending on your version of Excel, this filter um, option will be in a different spot for you. For me, I have the filter option right here. So if I click that while in the average monthly column, I can click this bar here and sort uh, all these keywords by the amount of traffic that they get. So if I click on descending and uh, go like that there, now I have all my keywords in order of the amount of searches they get per month. Now I just wanna take a little peek over and narrow them down based on which keywords are long tail or that look a lot easier to rank for. Uh, so for this one, for example, I see right here, ultrasound in medicine and biology. It's a five word keyword, so it's probably reasonably easy to rank for, and it gets 880 searches per month. But the reason why this would not be a good keyword to go for is because there's no commercial intent. There's no advertising spending any money on this keyword. So as I said, you kind of want to find a keyword where all of these three of these things line up reasonably, reasonably well. Um, so ultrasound technolo technician schools in New York. This has 720 searches per month. Uh, it's a five word keyword, ultrasound technician schools in New York. And it has a very high uh, amount of cost per click, a very high commercial intent. So this would be an excellent keyword for you to go for in all likelihood. You'd have to do further research by copying this keyword, some, entering it into Google, and then seeing what kind of results show up on the first page. But from what we've seen so far, the first test of judging by these three columns, this looks like a keyword that you probably would want to go to uh, make an attempt at ranking for. Um, but that's basically it in a nutshell. You want to go through here, 
take a look at keywords that you think are possible to rank for and then see about how many searches they get and what the commercial intent is. The other thing I'd like to add is because I did this video as a demo, I didn't expand all my options in Uber Suggest. So obviously I'm not going to have as many long tail keywords as I would have if I had expanded them further. So in, on that note, uh, when you do, do use this method for your own personal gains, make sure you spend a little bit more time in the Uber Suggest phase so that you have more long tail keywords to choose from. Another option here, ultrasound machine for sale. It's a four word keyword, 720 searches per month, and it has a reasonable commercial intent. So again, this would be a keyword that's possibly uh, worth trying to rank for. You'd have to research it on Google to see the kind of websites that are on page one of Google. But I have also created a video to assess keyword competition, and I'll send a link for that right here so that if you want to figure out how to determine whether a keyword is easy to rank or not, you can check that video out and then take a look at using those methods after you've found possible long tail options that could be profitable for you. So that's it for the video folks. As you can see, it's a pretty darn simple method that can get you some pretty awesome results in a very short period of time. It really only takes about five or 10 minutes to do it for yourself. And you can easily find some really good keyword gems that are gonna be extremely profitable for you and your website. Uh, as always, thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see all the other awesome, cool content that I have for you. Hey folks, it's Brendan back again with another video for you. And in this one, I wanna share with you how you can create a juicy Amazon affiliate site that rakes in easy affiliate commissions on complete autopilot.